Hi, in this video we would uh, look at plotting a simple lollipop chart. We would be using the ggplot library, so let's um, import it by library command. There are a lot of built-in data sets within um, R which we can use. So one of the data sets is uh, data set island. So it contains different islands and the size um, in, in a thousand square uh, miles. Um, this would be good for our need. Um, we would put this in a data frame, let's call it DS. So I'm actually converting uh, this um, islands into a data frame. Okay, so we got a data frame uh, which is called DS. Let's see what we have. So we have a name which is data sets dot islands. We would want to change it, um, and then we have the row names as the region or the countries up there. We would like to have another column which will have the name of the country so let's transform it and see what happens first i'm going to change the names and um, call the column as islands let's see what happens now okay so the name has um, changed to islands So this command is going to take the row names from the data set DS and create a new column called region. So once I run this command, we should end up with having two columns in there. One is the region, which is nothing but the, the row name which was there earlier. And then these are the values there, which is islands. So this is the area. I think this data set is good for our need at the moment. So let's try creating a simple plot from um, ggplot. So look, I'm using the first four rows because we don't want to overcrowd our um, chart so I'm just going to use four regions and we will try to plot a geom point which is a dot option and now let's print the plot Okay, let me run the whole code and see what happens. Okay, we got um, a dot plot, but we would like to convert this into a lollipop um, chart. So lollipop chart has a big round circle at the top and then a vertical line going down. So, so the appearance looks like a lollipop, hence the name lollipop for this kind of chart. This can be done by adding a um, jump segment in there. So jump segment is, uh, is going to give us a segment. And we are going to say that, look, the region, the starting uh, point would be x. For, for x would be region. And obviously, we just want to end it uh, for the same reason at the same place. So we just say x and x end equals region. But for y, we just want to start from the bottom and go to the value um, or, or, or start from the bottom and then go and touch our um, dot point. So we are saying the starting point or the, the z y is 0. And then y end would be the value um, for, for each um, column, so which is islands, the area. So let's let's plot it and see what happens now. OK, so we can see a nice line going from the bottom to the top. So 
we have got a, a basic lollipop chart on screen now. Let, let's try to customize it a bit more. Um, in this case, I would like to increase the size um, um, of, the, of the region of, of the point to 4. Let's run it. Dots have grown a bit more. I think that should be good enough. I would also like to print some labels. So Geom text uh, would give us that. And let's see if the, the labels appear all right on our screen. Okay, let's run it. Okay. So we got the names of the, the regions or the names of the islands appearing at the top. This is what we want. Now, we don't want our legends to be shown because this information is being available here as well. So let's get rid of the, the legends. So that can be done by putting another line there. Legend.position equals none. That would hide all the legends there. Okay. Sounds good. Now how about using a simple theme up there? So I've used the theme classic. That has given us a white appearance in the background. So the gray background has gone. If you're not happy with the with the colors um, for each point, let, let's let's try to alter it by using the scale color very dis. So this is going to give us some different colors. If you're happy with this, keep it. Otherwise, we can get rid of this line. Okay. We would also need to get rid of um, the country names or the region name at the bottom because they, they appear at the top anyway. So I'm going to say that, okay. So I've actually told the plot that the axis text would be blank. So Let's, let's run it. There's one mistake which I've made. The theme classic has to go at the top. And you would have noticed that suddenly my, uh, my legends have come back. And the reason is that um, this line is at the top and the theme classic overrides whatever I've told it to do. So hopefully when I run it now, you would get that the themes would be gone. So, so, sorry, the 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 facets would be the the th um, legends would be gone. It's, so this chart looks quite nice now. Um, bit more customization. So change the Y label which appears here and. So, and then also give it give it a title at the top. I think that should do. So let's let's run the whole plot again. Here we got a title there. We got our um, x-axis uh, label, um, and then this tells us that this is regions. And then we get the names of the regions at the top, and we have uh, four regions being plotted with a nice lollipop chart. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please um, help us by supporting us through a subscribe button. Just click on the subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.